What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another comparison video between two cars. To my right I have the 2023 Cadillac Escalade in the premium luxury trim and this is also the last year of this body style. Stay tuned because we're also going to be bringing that new body style at Vagabond Builds and we're comparing this exact car over to the 2024 GMC Yukon Denali and we're going to be talking about exteriors, interiors, and specs in this video, showing you guys what these cars are all about and the price tags on top. Also, guys, we thank you guys so much for watching, but we also need your guys' support. So we ask that you please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel because this is not a sponsored video. If you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us so we could talk details later. Thank you so much. And a shout out to Reliable GMC Buick and Cadillac here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us both of these beautiful cars for this review. Guys, I'm going to mention the MSRP price, but also the sticker. We're going to be putting it on this video or in this video later on in this video. So keep watching and stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Now let's go ahead and talk Cadillac Escalade and Yukon Denali. So let's kick this comparison video off with talking what do we get under the hoods of the 2023 Cadillac Escalade premium luxury trim, comparing it over to the 2024 GMC Yukon Denali. Starting off with the Cadillac Escalade, this exact engine is a 6.2 liter V8 Ecotec 10-speed automatic transmission pushing 420 horsepower with 460 pounds-feet of torque. And we're comparing that over to the same exact engine, 6.2 liter Ecotec V8, same numbers, 10 speed automatic transmission, 420 horsepower and 460 pounds feet of torque. But something I want to mention to you guys, so you guys keep an eye out as you're shopping or looking around for SUVs, is in the GMC Yukon, okay? Depending on your trim, you get three engine options. 3.0 diesel motor, also a 5.3 V8, and a 6.2 liter Ecotec. But again, remember, if you're in the Denali or Denali Ultimate specifically, you get a 6.2 liter Ecotec. The 5.3 is just for the lower trims. To whereas on the Cadillac Escalade, in comparison, there is no 5.3 liter V8 engine option. It is literally just 3.0 diesel or the 6.2 liter Ecotec V8. Now let's talk some MPG, things of that sort, dimensions, all that good stuff. Let me go ahead and give you guys a closer look on the engines. MPG on both are literally the same exact numbers, 14 city, 18 highway, and a 16 combined with 24 gallon gas tank size on both GMC and the Cadillac Escalade. Also, let's go ahead and talk some dimensions. Now you are going to be looking first at the GMC Yukon Denali and starting with the dimensions in length, width, and height in inches, 210 in length, 81 inches in width, and 77 inches in height with 121 inch wheelbase. To whereas if we go compare it over to the Cadillac Escalade, guys, super big surprise, 212 inches in length, 81 inches in width, and 77 inches in height, literally like two inches longer on the Cadillac Escalade. When properly equipped for both of them, you get about 8,200 pounds of towing capacity. But again, these exact cars in this video, the GVWR towing is about 7,500 pounds give and take, okay? Now guys, I gotta mention something. A lot of similarities, right? Front ends do look different. The cars do look a lot of differences and we're gonna be mentioning that. But I wanna to mention to you guys, MSRP sticker price on the Cadillac Escalade is $105,000 to where the MSRP price, sticker price on the GMC Yukon Denali is $85,000. So you're talking about $20,000 difference. Let's go ahead and bring you guys the differences. Front end of the Cadillac Escalade, again, being the more luxurious lineup of the GM, LED premium lighting with the black interior housing, daytime running lights in that vertical lighting system. Very nice. This is one big reason why I like the Cadillac Escalade. But again, you get the camera system, 360 camera with the bumper sensors going across that mid front end area. Big grill with that silver uh, trim going around and the black onto the uh, interior side of that. Also, you get no active air vents. 
piano black gloss trim. All right, something to point out to you guys because shooting over to the GMC Yukon Denali, we have the precision LED lighting system, the three stage lighting system with the black housing and then the daytime running lights in that kind of C area or these are your hazards as well going around. Sorry, we couldn't uh, turn on the car because it's too much noise for the speaker. But you're also getting the LED fog lights. Also active air vents for that air area, or sorry, for that wheel area to get that air, okay? The grill is nice and big in just one color in that kind of metallic silver. Dropping down silver with the matte black plastic, but you also get for tech, the bumper sensors and also the camera right under that GMC emblem. Are you making your choice yet? Let's shoot over to the sides of these cars. Wheels, again, you're going to be seeing multiple uh, differences in wheels. Cadillac Escalade on this premium luxury. You're getting the Bridgestone Alenzas all season and it's a 275 50 22 with magnetic ride control and adaptive air ride suspension system on the Cadillac Escalade premium luxury trim. To where we're comparing it to the Yukon Denali, you're getting the Continental Cross Contax LX20s in the Eco Plus tire and the 275 60 20. So a smaller rim okay you're getting a little bit more rubber on the tire itself but the suspension system does come air ride suspension as well moving forward no trim trim side mirrors pretty much the same with the cameras integrated blinker lighting blind spot assist and automatic foldable denali written on the front of that driver door no escalade or nothing going on the Escalade is a little bit cleaner look, right? Something that you also will know is or see is the proximity, proximity lighting bar that you get on the Cadillac Escalade. This is not a manual lever, so it's an electric controlled door, all right? And keyless fob entry. That running board will tuck away, giving you a cleaner and minimalist look. To her here, manual handle, keyless fob entry, but again, you also get the tucked away running board, giving it a cleaner look. Did you make your mind up yet? Let us know in the comment section below. The uh, up top, you have the rails going across on both in the same exact color, same exact color trims going around the windows as well with the piano black in between those glass and the chrome on the top and bottom. Moving forward, let's go ahead and show you guys what the gas tank lid looks like no cap for the gas lid and that is the same as well on the yukon denali something that is slightly different yes you get an added cadillac emblem here on that kind of chrome trim in between that uh quarter panel glass and your rear door i want to show you guys what they kind of look like when they're opening very nice and wide so you're not banging stuff around as you're trying to get in as well so kind of same feel as you're opening the doors the weight and all that, all right? Shooting over to the rear end. We are gonna be seeing a lot of differences on the rear end. Up top, starting with the spoiler. Spoiler with the LED lighting and a tucked away wiper. Similar from up top to about the glass area is pretty much similar. This glass does pop up. There's a button here, all right? And it shows you that windshield wiper, okay? Oh, sorry, there you go. That's pretty much all the same. Again, the tail lights is something that you're gonna be seeing that is major different on the tail light, LED tail lights here in the back to where on the Escalade, this is another reason why I'm a fan of the Cadillac Escalade is the tail light LED system. It is beautiful at night when you're driving it. But again, look, spoiler with the lighting system and that back glass, literally probably same part, honestly. It's crazy with the wiper tucked away. But again, dropping down to the bumper area, you're going to have differences here as well with that trim and the exhaust tip look with that black gloss finish. You do get the bumper sensors going across that mid rear end area. To her here, different look on the exhaust, a little bit more sporty look on the Yukon Denali, difference in the trim and finishing off that matte black plastic bumper cover area, okay? bumper sensors going across that mid rear end area if we go ahead and open the tailgates but before we do another difference that you have one camera 
here over the license plate to whereas on the Cadillac Escalade, you have two cameras. And what is one of those cameras used for? For that live feed rear view camera on the inside uh, of that front side of the interior. I'm gonna show you guys that later on in this video. But now let's go ahead and talk cargo. How are we going to open up both tailgates? On one, you press the emblem. On the second one, or sorry, on the other one, you have a handle area, electric. They are both electrical. Cargo area, it is crazy that they're about the same cargo in 25 cubic feet of space with that third row up. If we're to drop that third row and second row down, nope, of course. Let's do it again. And dropping it down, dropping those second row seats. Well, you could also bunny hop those. From this control unit here, this is about 123 cubic feet of cargo area. Now this is the same on pretty much both the Cadillac Escalade and also the Yukon Denali. They both also get an inverter. So this whole control little unit here, pretty much similar of controlling the third row and the second row seats. You can bring those third row seats back up as well on the Yukon Denali and also on the Cadillac Escalade. What's something different that you might see? Subwoofer system. Here on the Yukon Denali, the premium sound system is Bose to where on the Cadillac Escalade, you're going to be getting an AKG subwoofer system, okay? Or premium sound in general. I believe this is like 19 speakers inside the Cadillac Escalade. It's a lot of speakers inside this, okay? But again, finishing off with this rear end, they both do come with spare tires and they both are tucked away right under that cargo area. Now that we're pretty much done, showing you guys specs, exterior, and cargo areas. Let's go ahead and show you guys the differences of interior. So now inside the 2024 Yukon Denali, guys, get a load of this. Now, again, it is completely different inside, okay? But I'm going to bring you guys this interior so you guys get an idea of what they both look like if you're in the market for each one of them. Starting with the door sill plates, the door sill plates here on the Denali actually write Denali on them to where the Cadillac Escalade has Escalade on it and they are illuminated. Seating system, they both are wrapped in leather, but again, the Denali kind of has more of a saddle look to it with the cross stitching, the grainy leather, to whereas the Cadillac Escalade has more of a luxurious feel to the look of the leather, okay? Also, no speakers here on the Bose Premium Sound System inside the Denali to where the speakers uh, get added to the Cadillac Escalade from the e AKG uh, sound system. Dashboard, wooden inlays, both of them get wooden inlays. This is not a clear coated wooden inlay, just a regular natural wood feel. It's like a black or dark, dark gray look. To where the infotainment screen is about 10.2 inches here on the infotainment screen. But again, a lot of difference you'll see toggle switch here, this is one thing that I'm a big fan of the Yukon Denali is because they clean up that toggle switch area. They don't have those old levers anymore to where you can go in and out of your transmission uh, gears just using buttons now, all right? They are touch sensitive screens, both of them, Escalade. You can go ahead and change and view the different angles. As well, wanted to show you guys a little bit about the maps and what it looks like. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, integrated into the Yukon Denali with Google Assistant, and this is what your maps look like here, all right? Now, dropping down media controls, hard button to go back home for that screen. Dual climate controls with heated and ventilated seat controls for those two front seats. You could also control that tri-zone climate control there in the rear by these two buttons. Slide this wooden inlay cover back and that opens up to you a USB-C, USB-A with a 12 volt outlet and a wireless charging pad with cup holders. Slightly different setup here on the center console, but again, the wideness of the console itself does look kind of different. Big difference here uh, from the Yukon Denali over to the Escalade. This is your personal room for that center console. But again, if we're to go ahead and slide this console back that you do not get this option in the Escalade, you have a secret compartment option there for the Yukon Denali. Closing that up, finishing off with the driver cockpit area, 
12.3 inch full digital screen. You can go through different themes on that digital screen. You could do that in both, but no paddle shifting here on the Denali, okay? That the Escalade, you'll get the paddle shifting, you'll get the extra control there for your windshield wipers to where here the windshield wipers controller on the left and your whole lighting system controls is here on the lower end of that dashboard. But again, this is a lot going on here on the Yukon Denali to where on the Escalade, this area is simplified. You would be controlling a lot like your heads up display unit there, controlling your sensors, your lane departure, traction control, hill decline assist, your camera button, your control knob for that four wheel drive system and the lighting uh, area, okay? The door panel itself does kind of have the same setup, but again, slightly looks different because of that inlay and the leather look with that Bose premium sound system. Finishing off, heads up display in both to where finishing off with the upper area of that front interior. This does not have a live feed rear view camera. This is all manual and you can control this electric sun visor. You can control this electric sun visor, tilt and slide sunroof option. All right, let's go ahead and show you guys that. And you control that as well. You can also control the tailgate from up here and also those third row seating. All right, now that we're pretty much done with the front seats, let's go ahead and show you guys a quick second and third row look and then jump inside the Escalade. Now the second row to the third row seating area, guys, I'm going to have to say, we're in the Yukon Denali, okay? The main difference is that you get from the second row and the third row between the Escalade and the Yukon Denali is literally this center council area to where this is your tri-zone climate control, USB-C plugins, and the heated seats. Now, the idea is the same, but it's just a different look. The pocket's slightly different look on the back of those front seats, and the door panel slightly looks different again with regards to the leather, the trims, and all that stuff. But literally, you're getting $20,000 cheaper car for it being literally exactly the same back here. What do we see that's the same? The vents, the reading lights, the O snap handles, the seat itself and the way to control it with these two le levers here, front and back, up and down. You're gonna bunny hop this seat forward, literally the same. You got an electric control button for bunny hopping this second row seat. Captain seating, literally the same. Let's go over to the third row seating and show you guys what's the same back here as well. Area or the space on this car, pretty much the same. I'm about six feet, two inches, if you guys wanna kind of size me up and the car itself. But again, the vents up top, the reading light back here, the USB-C plugins on the right and the left, the cup holders, literally the same. Did you guys make your decision yet of what you guys are going to buy? I don't know, let me know. But again, we're pretty much done showing you guys second and third row. Let's jump into the Escalade and show you guys what the differences are. So now this is the interior to the Cadillac Escalade. And literally guys, let me know if you guys think the 20K markup is worth it. From the Yukon Denali to the Cadillac Escalade, starting with the door sill plate, that is an illuminated Escalade door sill plate with the Mulan leather perforated look, luxurious with the AKG premium sound system, added speakers on the headrest, and also on the door panels. The glossy wooden inlay look, just phenomenal leather wrap dash. And again, this is where you're gonna see a huge difference in the three screens, 16.9 inches, 14.2, and 7.2 inch screen. Three screens, guys, just phenomenal. Again, yes, I'm going to have to say the class to the Cadillac Escalade is just there. The luxury it is just there. If you guys have the price tag or the pockets for it, honestly, I have to say, man, it's a good buy. But on the left-hand side, again, remember I told you guys, big difference here in the area. This is the trailer um, brake control system that helps you out. Four-wheel drive system controls and just the adaptive air ride suspension that you get for those two buttons. But the door panels, heated and ventilated seats. Typically, you'd see this on the Yukon Denali over right under that infotainment screen but here you get them on the door panel unlock lock button and your control unit for your windows memory seating and the side mirrors let's go ahead and show you guys what that door looks like when it's opened pretty much kind of similar idea right but something to mention this screen is to control a few things your gauge or your driver cockpit cluster display you can make that full map 
super cool feature, or augmented reality. Now you're getting uh, upgraded bells and whistles inside this Cadillac Escalade. Let's go back to gauge. And then you could also control your heads up display from that little 7.2 inch screen. But you could also go through your info cards from the controls on your, um, on your uh, steering wheel, leather wrap steering. Also, it is a heated steering wheel. Again, with the wooden inlays and that silver, just adding that luxury feel. Remember I told told you, Escalade comes with the paddle shifters to go in and out of those gears on that 10 speed automatic transmission. The lever to the windshield wipers is on the right instead of the left and your lighting is controlled by this lever here on the left-hand side of the electrical steering column. The crash warning, you get the lighted crash warning sign here on the steering wheel to whereas on the Yukon you do not get that navigation system let's go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on the screen kind of has a nice classy look to it you could also want to show you guys the camera system if I go ahead and show you guys that camera we could go ahead and go to wide angle overhead and just different angles, 360 bird's eye view. You literally can press, look at all this super cool bell and whistle stuff that you could actually go from angle to angle and check out what's going on around your car. Again, dual climate controls. That lever is where you're gonna see a big difference. Shift lever, remember that uh, toggle switch area here on the Yukon Denali to where this is an old lever idea. A little knob for your media and controlling that screen. So you got a hard button control area for that screen up there. You can go in and out of home, navigation, media system a lot. Your cup holders, remember your USB-C, USB-A plugins, but the cup holders is a little bit different look. The center console feels a little bit more long, but wide still feels the same. The removable tray with a deeper uh, center console cubby, remember, because you do not have that secret cubby room. USB-C, USB-A, SD card with a 12-volt outlet. Up top, you're getting that electric sun visor, tilt slide, sunroof option, and the way to control that is pretty much similar. That control unit, literally same exact. You can control those tailgates from back here as well on the Escalade. Not to forget to mention, because I did forget to mention, that both of these cars do come with hands-free option on the tailgates electric sun visors, and you could go ahead and tilt and slide that sunroof option from here as well. Big difference, live feed camera. Remember that extra camera right over your license plate? On the Escalade, you're getting that live feed. And finishing off with the front end, lockable glove compartment here on the Escalade as well. That's what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the second row and finish off with this video. So second row captain seating, guys. Remember I told you there's not much difference. Again, yes, the design of the door panels, and the design of the pockets on the back of the front seats and the look here as well, okay? There goes your cup holders, your controls to your heated seats. There you go. And then that tri-zone climate control with your USB-C pl plugins and your inverter. But overall, the captain seating, the armrest, yes, the different Mulan leather wrap that is something different but again it all depends if you're willing to spend the money for pretty much from the second row to the third row is similar let's go ahead and drop this seat and show you guys this does not get the moon on leather wrap they simplified that leather back here no perforated again but on the yukon denali they kept that same look coming in all the way from the front over to the third row seating so that's something else to take into consideration but you're getting the USB-C plugins, the cup holders, pretty much same exact stuff, okay? Now, let me know if you guys think that price tag is worth it or what you guys think between each car. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. But as promised, here's the MSRP sticker to the Yukon Denali first and what comes on it with the price tag on top. And here is the MSRP sticker to the Cadillac Escalade. Everything on it and the price tag on top. Guys, check out our in-depth review videos between different trims, walk around reviews at Vagabond Builds. We thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to keep watching and stay tuned because we have more cool things coming. Thanks and God bless you.